So HTC just invited us to go check out the new One A9. Can this phone save the company from the brink of destruction? Let's go check it out. Taxi? This is the HTC One A9. Look familiar? Yep, it looks just like an iPhone 6, except it runs the newest version of Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and not iOS. HTC wants to remind everyone that it did the unibody aluminum design first with the One M8, but they should also be reminded that being first doesn't always mean being iconic. There are some obvious differences between the two phones, like the bigger 5-inch Full HD screen. It's sharp, but not very bright outdoors, even at full brightness. The 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and dual LED flash is center aligned instead of being in the corner, and there's a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera on the front for selfies. The One A9 isn't the most powerful phone, and that's perfectly fine. It has a 64 bit Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is expandable via micro SD card and a 2150 milliamp hour battery with quick charge 3.0. HTC's Sense skin still sits on top of Android, but doesn't take away from the performance in any real way. The best part is the fingerprint sensor below the screen. It's not a pressable button, but it works very quickly. Better than the iPhone's Touch ID because it doesn't need to be pressed. Even the bottom looks like an iPhone, with the speaker and headphone jack reversed, of course. We're sure Apple won't be thrilled with the cloning, but let's be real. There's only so many ways to build a metal phone before they all look the same. No word on exact pricing for the One A9, but HTC says it'll be very affordable. The phone will be available by the end of October.